Hey friends, it's Tammy in My World in OKC, and it is part five, the part you guys have all been waiting for, for for so, so long, and I'm so glad to be bringing it to you. We are going to make a pocket letter. So I may pause in between. I am trying to do this at my kitchen table because that's where I have the most light, and I may have to pause to go get something um, out of my craft room. So we're going to start. I think I have everything, so we shall see. And I probably will fast forward a little bit so it's not really long, but you guys will get the gist of it, I promise. So let's get started. And I do apologize for my nails. We actually got paint on in the rooms today. So I am so, so excited that we got paint going. So let's get on with this pocket letter. Okay, I hope I have you guys at a good angle. I'm trying to get where you guys could see everything. But first thing I wanna show you is I've got the lines toward the left here so all the pockets open up in front of me. And what I have done, I've pre-cut some stuff just because I knew what I wanted to use and I didn't wanna take you know, a whole long time to show you guys how to do this. Um, I actually took one of my pages out of one of my color books my adult coloring books that I am going to use for the back side of this. And I think this is a great idea for people to be able to use. And I actually like to turn it over so I can kind of see where I'm going at with this. And when you cut these out, you want to make sure that, um, put them in order. If not, it's like a puzzle to put them back together. <laughs> so you want to make sure you have them the right way. Okay, after you get those all in there, how they go, and I had that one in there, right, but just upside down, so that does happen. So when you cut these up, you do wanna make sure you try to keep them in order or you do have a puzzle. So I'm gonna, this is the back side that I'm gonna put all the goodies in. And I think this is a great idea to use, you know, this, because if they want to, they can take this out and color it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back over on this side. And I actually wanted to use this paper. This is the new paper out of that new book that I got. Um, and I thought this was really pretty and I picked this out and then I went ahead and picked out two groups of stickers that I thought I really liked to go with this and then a plus um, then plus I still have some extras here because I know I might want to come to these and of course I have my bowl of stickers and my tape and everything out here and we're gonna decorate these okay I went ahead and opened up the stickers and got rid of the trash so you guys wouldn't have to hear all the crinkling of paper. And sometimes I use stickers all from the same sheet and sometimes each one's different. It's just your interpretation of what you want. So let's go ahead and start and see what our cards are gonna turn into for us, okay? Not in any particular order. These cards are all mixed up as far as design and that's fine with me for this because it is kind of a, you know, neutral design. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of set out a couple of cards. I'll set out three and see where that takes us. Okay, I know I'm going to use some of these sparkly stickers and some have pink and stuff in them. And they have butterflies. So I do have my washi here, both full bowls. And I got a third bowl, but it's mainly got the duct tape ones in it. So I think first of all, what I see coming to life here for me is... Um, Let's try this really pretty sparkly green. I think that would be a pretty accent color on here. Okay, and this is the paper tape kind. So I'm just gonna peel a little off and I think I will just put a strip up here at the top. And this tape is a little thicker to where you're gonna need some scissors to cut this. It doesn't cut so well with just using, you know, a card or something. Okay, and let's see what else I see coming to life here. I think I might use this really pretty new gold tape. Now this is a brand new tape, so I'm not gonna use the edge. So I am, I think I'll just go across the middle. And it is all up to you where you want this at. It, it's, you know, your interpretation of where you want this to be. And I don't see my uh, ruler in here, so I'm just gonna use this lid. And just make sure you get it to the end and this is just gonna be trash. Okay, and this one, really kinda like this kinda bluish teal color. But I actually think I might wanna put across this big washi that I have here. Okay, 
And when I see a card or when I'm making a card, you know, a lot of times I'll think, oh, I wanted to use my new washi that I just got or just whatever, you know, you just kind of pick and choose what you see that card becoming. And a lot of times new stuff that you've bought determines that for you. And see, I think that comes out really cute. And then let's see what we see for this one. I think I want to go with something a little brighter here. So let's do, let's do a bright pink color on there. And we'll just put this one about right here. And it doesn't matter where you put the tape, it's wherever you want to put it. And you may have a different process. You may put the sticker on first and then the tape, or you know, you may want to do one at a time. It's it's up to you. I tell you guys, there is no wrong way here. Promise. Okay, and I do think I want to use this gold, but maybe on the next one. Okay, now on these three cards, what I'm envisioning here is, let me go look at some of these stickers and see what I'm envisioning. Okay, the middle pocket I like to save for a shaker, so the shaker will go there. And my note will go somewhere, which I have my note. And I'll probably put my note down here. And you just kind of see it come into life you know, as you're doing it. And let's see here. I think I wanna go to this little ladybug. So I think I'm gonna put this little ladybug and I'm gonna kinda of put it down on the green a little bit like that. And then I wanna put some little sequins on here. And I actually got some of these big gold sequins and I'm gonna put a couple of those on there. And I got my tape glue. And you can either put it on there or put it on the sequin. I think in this case, I'm actually just going to put a little on the sequin. And I want to put two. And it's all up to you how many you want to put. There's no wrong or right way to do this, like I said. And that's my first card today. Okay, and this card, I think I just want to put, I just want to put this cute little bird right in the middle. And I'm calling that card dead. And so I want on that card. This one here, I think I want to go with something that has some of the purple on it. So let's try the big bird. I really like him, he's so cute. And let's put that there. Okay, I did go grab some sequins. And on this card here, I think I'm gonna put a little strip of some sequins on there. And these are just kind of mixed sequins that I have. I got these at, I believe, Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna pick up a few of these. Oh, I don't think that one caught the glue. And these are all on a strip all the way across so you actually have to like dig your nail in to you know get them out and I just want this centered or actually it's a little off centered but that's okay I like that even better and I'm just gonna put that there so that is gonna go I think I will put that up here and so far three cards done see quick and easy okay let's go ahead and uh, see where we get here Okay. okay, I want to see what do we got going on over here. Let's see. Okay, I want to look at these stickers, and I really think I want to use some of these. I want to go to this little gold washi that I have, and it's kind of a thin washi, just to kind of tie in some of the gold I've used. And you don't have to do that. This is just what, you know, I want to do. I can find the end. <laughs> okay, and I think I will do here. Okay. 
And washi is real easy that if you do um, need to pick it back up, it's real easy to pick back up. Now, if I was doing this with the duct tape or something like that, it's pretty much stuck where it's at. So remember that when you're using your tape. Okay, and the top of this one, I think I want to put a couple of sequins on there. And I might actually use a couple of these pink or blue just to tie in some other colors. I think I'll do some pink. And like I said, this is all up to you, your interpretation of what you see this card. And a lot of times, yes, I do have my cards with the pre, you know, pre washied you know, pre washy them up. <laughs> um, that way it gives me a head start. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, the process if you were just making it, you know. I wanted to use the new paper, so I didn't have any made up in this. Nope, that one didn't stick, so gotta get you some more sticky glue. And I think it actually stuck to my fingernail. There we go. Oh, see, and if that happens, just do it again. It's getting on me instead of the card, but that's, you know, operator error there. Okay, and I think I actually, I think I actually want to use this little, actually I want to use this. And sometimes if you don't want, okay, now that one's too big for there, so I'm not going to use that on there. But I am just going to go ahead and use it, I think, on here. And we'll dress that one up in a second. See, if that happens, you just improvise and do something else. So I guess I'll go ahead and use the birdhouse. I was drawn to that at first anyway. And let's put it about right there. And then I actually think that looks a little bare still. So I am going to maybe put a couple of these little flowers, or at least one. Um, actually, let's use this other little birdhouse on there. We'll put both. And right here where the little hook is, I'm going to put a little rhinestone there. Just to dress it up a little. Make it look like it was hanging off of something. Okay, and then I'm going to stick that down in there. Okay, this one here is the one I did the little birdhouse on. To me, that just needs something else. And I really am drawn to sequins. I love the sequins on stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to put a few sequins right here in the corner. And I'm just going to pick off, oh, let's do four. And I went with some that had the pink. And I'm just going to put them on there like that. Sorry if that was out of focus. I just now caught it. Um, let's see. What do I feel like this is going to turn into? So let's use this. It's got gold and green kind of on it. And this, I just ripped that a little bit on the end there. If you guys can see that. So I'm not going to use that because I messed it up. So I'm going to go up by, you know, beyond it a little. And we did get paint on our room today and I am so excited. It is so coming together. I can't wait to show you guys all the hard work that my, I say we, but my husband has done an amazing job. I can't even take any credit because he is awesome. Okay, and on this one, I think I actually want to double. Uh, maybe just put a little strip, but I want it slanted. So I'm going to cut it at a slant. And that right there. And rip. Okay. I like that. I think that came out good. And let's see. I think I actually want to use this one that says thank you here. And let's just put it kind of in the middle. And these stickers, if you didn't want to actually stick them on the paper so they could be reused, what I do is I just cut it out around on the plastic that it's on. You know, just leave it on there, cut that around, and then put a little bit of this tape glue on the plastic, and then stick that to the card. 
That way the person can reuse that sticker. Oops, and I just dropped washi. Okay, and this one here, I actually want something down here. So I think I will go back to these pink sequins. And I think I'll put it right there. And I just want that because it pinks there and then the pink, so it kind of ties it together for me. each card I actually I don't know I look at my stickers and I can see that card come to life for me and that's how I choose how I'm gonna decorate it is I'm just like hey that looks like this would be good on here with this tape and I think I'll go with this baby blue and I like the shiny just because a lot of the stickers are so shiny on this so I'm going to use this one and it's already cut at an angle from the last time I used this washi, and I'm just going to go with it. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I hope that you guys have went back and saw all the other videos as well if you haven't. Check them out on how to do a pocket letter. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And if you guys are liking this series, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for sure. And mm, I don't like that. I think I'll leave it. And make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I will have more videos after this that will be coming up. Um, and it'll be just on doing embellishments and you know making a few things and what I see and what I make and I'm trying to figure out what I might want there different and it's got little dots on that piece that you really can't see too much but I'm not gonna pick it up I think it'd be just fine okay and what I want to do here is I want to use this friendship I'm gonna put that at the bottom and then I really want to use this little butterfly. I think it's just beautiful. I'm going to put it kind of in the middle. And then there is our all our cards. Okay, next I am going to flip this over. And let's see what we envision out of the goodie box to go in the goodies for the other side. Oh, and I have a sequin that has got in there. So let's get him out. I'll just leave him out okay and I'm going to the goodies and I do know that I want to put a shaker card in the middle so I'm going to go through my little bucket okay I'm going to put this shaker down in the middle it has a little heart and some little um, sequins in there and it shakes and I will do a video on how I make those um, I like to put some with glitter in them now and they're a little more you know festive so that's my shaker card in there and they can actually take it out and either use the stuff inside or reuse it for a different project if they want okay and then i know i want to put goodies in it so let's see i think i will put and i've got my little goodie bucket with all my you know different goodies here and i think i want to put some of the new beads that i just got Let's do some buttons, a washi, and I like to put something in all of these. I just think that's, you know, nice. Let's do some googly eyes. Um, we could do some sequins in case they decide to make their own little shaker. Uh, let's do some letters, and they might want to do something with some letters. Mm, let me see. Let's do a thing of some stickers. Uh, let's do this one here. And then I do want to do some different stickers on the other side, so that'll be what we use for the goodies. Okay, and it doesn't really matter what pocket you put the goodies in, it is up to you. I usually try to put them where I know everything's gonna fit nicely. And I think I'm actually gonna move my, no, I'm gonna leave it. 
Let's put the little confetti, or I'm sorry, the sequins behind here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up and I will show you what I did after I get through so you guys aren't waiting so long. Okay, I was just picking out some stickers to put in one of the pockets. Um, I'm giving quite a few stickers this time just for the fact that all the ones in the front I didn't you know, leave where they could reuse them. So I'm going to put quite a few in here and I think I actually, instead of just sticking them in there, I'm going to put them together and I want the butterfly on top because I am going to use a butterfly clip. And then I am just going to stick all those down in there. And just clip that on top like that. Okay, and I usually like to give um, some card embellishments too. Let me see what I might like to give. Let's do this cute little birdhouse. And let's give a couple of these cute little birds. That way they can use it on their stuff. And I'll leave that in front, and I'm just going to stick this right in with the washi. That way on their pro projects, they can have it. And that one, oh, one of the stickers got bent. And in my pocket letters, I usually always like to give a some kind of clip you know there is a clothespin clip or it's a paper clip or something of that kind I like to always give washi at least give a sample of washi and then I also like to give tags so but it's all up to you that's just what I like to do okay, I'm gonna try to clip that on the outside like that okay and I do have a couple of cards that I pre-picked out here it's like three little cards and I think I'll put these behind the flowers that I give. And these are some of the flowers that I made where I took them apart, that I bought the bouquet at the Dollar Tree. I took them apart and put the little sink, the, um, rhinestones on there. And I thought those come out good. And then here's some little twine. So they'll have that for the cards in case they don't have any. And I like to just roll it up and then give it a twist. And then just stick it down in the cards with it. And it kind of helps keep the flowers in there too. Okay. And this, this pocket letter is almost done. Now on the side here, since I did use quite a bit of gold, I'm going to do a gold shiny down the side. And this is just the big sheet of stickers that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I have just cut them up lengthwise. And I like to use them along the edge of the pocket letter and you could use washi there you can use some of the cute I mean any kind of decorative tape anything you wanted you don't even have to put anything um, you can just use whatever whatever you like whatever peaks your fancy and I just stick it on there about halfway or so and then I'm gonna put a dangle and the hole still there for me to have a dangle and what I'm gonna use for a dangle on this is these little glass bottles I got washi stuck to my finger um, these little glass bottles these are actually nail glitter but I put some twine through there and this is the blue um, like plastic twine that I'm going to use and what I do to tie it and I like it a little off centered I don't like them exactly centered so I just give it a little crimp here stick it through the hole like that and when it comes back out just loop them through that hole and then just pull it tight and that is your pocket letter and they ended up coming out pretty even anyway so I'm gonna go back and see if I can't get that to be a little less even That is our pocket letter. We are done, guys. So that is the front of our pocket letter. And now don't forget when you put this little note in there though, make sure you go back and write your note for your friends. And 
Then here's the back with all the goodies in it. And in the back, you don't have to worry about, you know, you could always use decorative cards in the back as well if you wanted. It is all up to you. But then when I fold this up, I usually like this piece to show first. So I usually try to fold it like this to put it in an envelope. And this would fit in one of the smaller, like, 5 by 7 or the 5 by 8, whatever that, you know, the smaller size is. This will fit down in here really, down in there really good. And you can either wrap this with tulle. You can, don't have to wrap it at all. You could put a doily around it to seal it. Um, you could wrap this in tissue paper. It is all up to you, you know, how you want to present this to your friend. Okay, and I am actually going to include, um, I think I'm actually going to put this new pineapple. No, I don't think I'm going to. It just don't look right. So I am going to call it done, and that is the pocket letter tutorial for you guys. This is my version. There's a lot of other versions out there. Um, I hope this, you know, seals up the good series with a good note. Um, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next video, and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave any comments or questions below, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.